Well, tonight, a friend of the Richmond family whose mother was murdered yesterday is doing what he can to comfort them. Now, these three people are now charged, Brandon Simpson with first-degree murder and James Gant and Lauren Gabbard with second-degree murder. Mitch Weber just returned from Richmond and is live with his interview with that family friend, all new here at 10. Mitch? Mark, the family friend, told me the youngest son is really struggling. Now, we learned in those court documents today, suspect James Gant told officers the plan was to hold Michelle Rupert's 17-year-old son while Brandon Simpson went to the family home to steal marijuana and electronics. One day after losing their mother, police arrest three people in connection with her murder. I know she loved her family very, very much. Rob Kennard is a family friend and is close to the youngest son. He's struggling and uh, he needs his friends right now and he really, really needs his family. So, you know, the best thing that we can do is just wrap our arms around him and listen and, and, and love on him. In the criminal complaint, it says a family member found Michelle Ruport in a back bedroom laying on the ground with their hands and feet bound in a plastic bag over her head. Family members told officers Brandon Simpson was responsible and that he stole several items in the home. When officers tracked him down to a home here on Shaw Street, he tried driving away and nearly hit one of the officers. Officers removed him from the car at gunpoint. Simpson told detectives he did not kill Michelle Ruport, but when officers spoke with the other suspect, James Gant, he believes Simpson was responsible. Pretty sad. Because okay. it don't sound like him. It don't sound like Brandon. We learned Brandon Simpson was a 2005 All-American wrestler at Richmond High. He is a down-to-earth, good kid. I'd help anybody. All three suspects are now in the Ray County Jail on a $1 million bond each. A youth minister, Kennard, believes Faith will help the family heal. While we don't understand why this happened, uh, we just have to have that faith that God has a plan. Donation cans have been placed around Richmond asking the public for donations uh, to help the Rupert family pay for funeral expenses. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.